हेलो गाइस, आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड आई एम विशाली की कान एंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग एंटीना एंड वेव प्रोपोगेशन सो टुडे इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द स्पायरल एंटीना वी आर गोइंग टू सी इट्स स्ट्रक्चर इट्स टाइप्स करंट डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑन द स्पायरल एंटीना देन वी आर गोइंग टू वॉर्ड इट्स डिजाइनिंग एंड आफ्टर दैट वी आर गोइंग टू सी द रेडिएशन पैटर्न एंड सम ऑफ इट्स करेक्टरिस्टिक्स एंड एट द लास्ट वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट इट्स एप्लीकेशन so first of all what is a spiral antenna so the spiral antenna is a wide band antenna and or i can say it is a ultra wide band antenna so the highest frequency to the lowest frequency ratio is around 30 so what does it mean okay so i can say it is a ultra wide band uwb antenna okay so now coming to the meaning so the highest frequency to the lowest frequency ratio is around 30 which means that if i am operating on 1 gigahertz then i can equally operate on 30 gigahertz as well so i have the operational range from 1 gigahertz to 30 gigahertz my characteristics a lot of characteristics like radiation pattern impedance and some other characteristics like polarization are not changing in this bandwidth okay so if i say 1 to 30 gigahertz in the 1 to 30 gigahertz a lot of things like radiation pattern polarization impedance they are not changing okay so i can operate this antenna from this range from 1 to 30 gigahertz it is just an example to show you how we have fh to fl ratio 30 okay so don't get confused that this is the actual range okay so now if i have told you it is ultra wide band antenna now you must got what does it mean so, okay so now coming to the structure we all are studying about all of the antennas but first i am telling you their structure okay so in the structure we all know what is a dipolar antenna so if this is my feed okay so i am representing the feed with plus and the negative sign and this is my dipolar antenna okay so the dipolar antenna just consist of two equal sides okay so this sides can have total length to be lambda by 2 okay so now this is my feed or what i can do i can take two wire transmission line i can fold it ends at 90 degree and i will be getting the dipolar antenna so this is the simple dipolar antenna So now in year 1954 what happened a scientist started folding out its sides so he started studying the structure of the dipolar antenna by folding its ends okay so what happens so if i fold this distance is around lambda by 4 and now if i fold its ends okay so this is my spiral antenna okay so how many number of turns i can have so the number of turns uh, is generally taken to be equal to 1.5 but it can go up to 3 as well okay so we can have more number of turns but in general we are taking this number of turns most of often we are taking 1.5 number of turns so now in this case you can see this is the red a uh, portion which represents one of its sides and the green portion represents another side i have folded both of them and this structure 
results into the formation of the spiral antenna so i hope now you understood the basic difference between the structure of dipole antenna and the spiral antenna and how we can form the spiral antenna from the dipole antenna now what is r not and what is rs okay we can uh, represent rs as rc as well in some of the books rs is represented as rc so what is r not and what is rs r not means the minimum radius okay so the minimum radius of the the smallest circle that is formed is r not and rs is the radius of the circumference so the circumference is represented by the outermost circle and the radius of the outermost circle is rs okay so i hope now you understood what is r not what is rs so now coming to the types so it is a frequency independent antenna so previously also i have represented about this term i have talked about this term for frequency independent for which antenna i was saying this for log periodic antenna i was saying that it was a frequency independent antenna similarly spiral antenna is also a frequency independent antenna and the simple reason is that it is ultra wide band antenna because it is having the uniform radiation pattern polarization impedance if i am changing even the frequency so i can say it is not dependent upon the frequency okay so its characteristic will depend upon the angle or some other uh, other parameters but it does not depend upon the frequency okay so all of them are independent of frequency so it is frequency independent now coming to the types so there are two types of a uh, spiral antenna first is archimedean spiral antenna first is archimedean spiral antenna and then we have the log periodic spiral antenna what is the difference between both of them so it is a very interesting difference between both of them so coming to the archimedean archimedean is uh, the spiral antenna which is formed with the help of straight dipolar antenna so now let's suppose i have this dipolar antenna okay so if i have this length of the both of the ends the length of the both of the ends is same plus the width is also same so now if i turn it it will be forming the archimedean type of dipolar antenna okay so here i will be making it more clearly okay so you can see i have made all of the length to be equal but in the log periodic spiral antenna what i will be using i will be using at the log periodic structure so i will be using this fan kind of structure and now i am converting this fan type of structure into the spiral antenna so how the log periodic spiral antenna will be looking like so i am just making a smaller structure so you can see in the log periodic spiral antenna the width is increasing continuously from the center this is the center actually where i am supplying the feed okay so now the width is increasing so i hope now you understood the basic two types of spiral antenna in the structure i told you what is the design how i made the, make the design but in the types i am telling you how based upon the two types because based upon the dipole antenna or the log periodic antenna we can make two types of spiral antenna okay so this is archimedean spiral antenna this is log periodic spiral antenna coming to the current distribution Okay so this is my spiral antenna 
सो दिस इज माई स्पायरल एंटेना नाउ वी हैव टू सी द करेंट डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन आई नो द करेंट डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इन द डायपोल एंटेना सो दिस एंटेना इज मेड अप ऑफ द डायपोल एंटेना सो नाउ इफ आई सी द डायपोल सो इन द डायपोल द करेंट इज मूविंग इन दिस डायरेक्शन ओके सो नाउ दिस इज माई अपर एज ओके सो द अपर साइड इज रोटेटेड और इट इज टर्न सो नाउ करेंट इज मूविंग इन दिस डायरेक्शन ओनली You can see Okay so I hope you understood what is the current direction in the upper upper side and now we will be seeing the current direction in the lower side so current is moving inward okay so here also I will be making the inward current so you can see the location of green and the pink arrow both of them are in opposite direction so i can say we have 180 degree phase gap okay so this can be acting like an array if i increase the number of turns it can be acting like the array of elements but the array is in opposite phase so i hope now you understood this thing now coming to the designing so we have the designing for the archimedean antenna and for the log periodic antenna okay so we are talking about the archimedean antenna first so in the archimedean antenna if i want to find out the radius so if i take a general radius of any of the turn the general radius is represented as a into phi okay so now coming to the highest and the lowest frequency of operation so fh will be equal to c upon 2 pi r1 this is my highest frequency of operation the lowest frequency of operation is fn which is equal to c upon 2 pi r2 so now coming to the log periodic antenna in the log periodic antenna we have the r which is equal to r not e raised to power a phi okay now what is a a is the scaling factor a is the scaling factor which tells me what is the amount in which these spiral and ends are increasing right so this is how i can find out a so when a is 0 so when phi is 0 which means r is r not okay so the inner radius is r not so now coming to the fh and fn so fh will be equal to c upon 4 r not and what about fn fl will be equal to c upon 2 pi rs okay so i will be finding out the highest frequency when it is operating at the frequency divided by 4 so at that time i will be getting the highest frequency so now i will be finding out it at lambda by 4 okay so now this is why i have this four factor over here okay so now coming to the radiation pattern so when i have the spiral antenna like this okay so this is my let's suppose a spiral antenna i have made a uh, rough structure so now the radiation pattern will be looking like this okay so here half power beam width will be equal to 70 degree gain will be equal to 228 db okay so now coming to the equation of the radiation pattern so if i find out the equation it will be represented as f of theta is equal to cos of theta simply so now coming to the impedance impedance is nearly equal to 200 ohm okay and this is how i can uh, match it easily to the transmission line okay we can find it with the help of baby nets principle i have already talked about it so z z s into z c so this is the complement of the spiral antenna it will be equal to eta square upon 4 where eta is 377 ohm 
okay so this is how i can find out zs now coming to the application i have told you it is ultra wide band antenna so it can be used in the telemetry operation op application okay further it can be used in the gps applications as well okay after that it is having the circular polarization okay so i will be mentioning it here circular polarization is a very important thing it can be used in the defense applications for direction finding purposes it can be used on the spacecrafts or the missiles okay so the, these are the various important applications of the spiral antenna i hope you understood what is spiral antenna and various phenomena associated with it if you have still any doubt you can put the doubt in the comment and i will be trying to resolve your doubt as soon as possible i hope you like this session if you like it please push the like button subscribe to the channel and also do share it with your friends thank you so much